Yeah, hello, welcome to another exciting tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to make a very quick album cover artwork in Photoshop. First, what you do is you create a new file. You make the size of the file 2000 by 2000 pixels, 300 resolution, and in the square format. Next, you go in for your background that you want to use for the artwork. Most of these artworks are built based on background text or picture text and background. With this particular one we are making, I'm going to use just a very simple background. But you know, I take my inspiration from the internet and I go through till I find what I want to use as a background before I start working. So I'll stretch the background to fit. And then I'll go to OK. That's the correct sign. Like my fit. And the next thing that I'm going to work on is going to be the text. But I have to lock the background first so that I can move it. So I'll go for my text to change my color to so that kind of red. Yeah. And the album title, the, the, the song is called Fear. After I put in my text, I'm going to place the text wall on the page. You know, it's, it's starting to look good already. You know, when you take a very good background, your work will be start looking good already, even from the onset. So now, all I do next is to change the text to the suitable text format for me. I'm using against. That's the kind of text I'm using. If you don't have that, don't worry. You know, this is just a tutorial for you guys to know how to create an album cover. So I'll position my text up a bit. The reason why I position my text in the lower mid area is because your eyes can't hold that much of information for a long time at the top of an artwork. So I put most of the stars below the artwork a bit not just at the bottom but fairly almost at the bottom because the eyes almost kind of rest down so mostly it gets people attention the more and the eye rest down the artwork and then that's what they take away and they take the eyes away from the artwork they take away that message so that's what that's the trick I use it works for me but maybe something else might work for you yeah, I want to create a very simple, you know, stroke underneath the fear to match how I'm doing. So I choose a brush, a rough brush, and then I create a new layer. Position the brush there, I click, and then hold shift, and then click again to draw a straight line. Yeah. And then I repeat that same process. Click, hold shift. Click again to draw another straight line. Click, click again, hold shift. You know, click to draw the straight line. I'm trying to create a very simple line underneath the fear. Um, you can use any other means you want to create the fear. Normally, I'm going to illustrate and create my text and bring it into Photoshop, but with this tutorial, it's just a simple one, so I'm trying to do it in Photoshop. I'm adding a bend to my straight line so I just use the manipulate tool with the transform tools and then create my bend and there it goes position a wall under the fear I'm trying to create it to be more sharper so I go for cut out as a filter onto my stroke that I created underneath my text You can skip this step if you want to because it's not that important. The difference is not that the same as by there. It's, you know, it's subtle, but it's okay. Now I come back to my background again. It's to my face, so I'll bring the opacity down a bit just to you know bring the fear out, like fear. You know, that kind of thing. So after I get my fear standing out. I have to put the artist's name, the person.
person who sang the song okay mostly i focus on the title of the song and in this case which is here now the artist i'm putting my name coco pentium yeah i'm not artist now you know one thing about creating artworks is you get to be in it you want you know i'm going to change this into a, a thousand fonts like agency and then um you know agency is used for most like hip-hop kind of artworks and all those kind of stuff it's it's it you know there's a style on going and all that so i'm going to use agency for that and uh i right, go yeah i'll position it well yeah no no yeah no 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 okay I think yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay. I'll change the color to black and voila. It's looking good, but not that good as I expected. I'll duplicate this and then put the producer of the song there. You know, I'll add the producer of the song there later. But I still want to get a position of this wall. It's not working. You know, sometimes you just play around with your artwork till something works for you and then you use that. But, you know, don't try to do the same thing that I'm doing. Get the concept, you know, that I'm trying to get across. And the concept is getting a very good background and using it. With this problem, in which I selected the text and then it selected a fear, you just have to select on the text you want to edit and then you can just use the title to, to edit that across the text without selecting other ones that you don't want so i'll just type in produced by um kp yeah and uh, there i go yep i'll change this to a capital p and then i'll change both of these two caps to okay good um the color to red i think it looks better in red and then i would change this font i don't really like the way it looks i don't like the way it looks here either i'm gonna have to place this at the top or something uh, it's giving me some kind of tough time but you know i'll sort it out so you as i said you have to play around a bit you know to get something that suits you you know, something that you feel is working. Then I'm going to change it back to against. This is the original font I use for the fear so that there will be some kind of, you know, harmony in there. I'm going to change the color. Nah, okay. Think black will work. Yeah. And I'm going to space it out a bit to about so yeah so the pentium and then here goes okay this is looking okay but it's not complete i need that magical touch okay um let me set it up okay i'm going to add a very nice order to this now i'm going to change this to none and I'm going to change this color to white and then I'm going to draw my border there yep and there we go nice clean border I'm going to change the thickness to about so mm, I don't really like this I'm going to change the color again back to red okay now it's, it fits like this you know it makes it look unique fear you know fear with a red bird um i like this i don't know about you if you like it too i'm going to bring the opacity down by hitting my number key you know like five which means 50 six which means 60 down the opacity and then i like this i like this this is good so thank you for watching and uh you can post your comments and then 
also tell me which tutorial you want to see next. Bye.